An unusually harsh winter has made Toronto sidewalks impassable for many people living with disabilities. Some say they've been kept inside for weeks. As CTV's John Woodward reports, a city committee is making new recommendations to make snow clearing a priority. Susan Hutchinson's scooter can handle this uneven ground now, but on January 28th, she was dealing with the aftermath of a major snowfall. The sidewalk wasn't cleared in this area, and it had me going over really rough ter terrain. Rough terrain on Malvern Town Centre property because she claimed she was following the path of a city plough that had gone off course. She said the wheels slipped and she fell. She got a concussion. Sheer panic, first of all. I'm a, I already have a spinal disability and I was nearly paralyzed once. So the first thought was cover the head. It's just a small drop, but it can feel like a cliff to someone in a scooter, especially if there's snow and ice. This winter has brought with it huge dumps of snow, snarling traffic for long periods and also keeping people with disabilities in their homes. Almost impossible. This is the first time in about six weeks that I've been able to get out of my own. The city's plows struggled to keep up. A recent Supreme Court ruling says cities have to or they could be liable. We do need a more comprehensive uh, regime of making sure that uh, whoever is responsible, the snow gets, gets cleared. Councillor Kristen Wong Tam says a city committee has made recommendations after that 55 centimeter snowfall. Among them, have new standards for service above 50 centimeters of snow. So rather than let it be chaotic and undefined, when it comes to 35 centimeters of snow or 50 centimeters of snow, determine how long it's going to take. Do the math, figure it out, and get it done. Don't let us, don't leave us waiting for, for weeks on end. Hutchinson says she doesn't want the snow to mean she and others have to avoid going out. John Woodward, CTV News.